Hey everyone and welcome back. It's Gina from OrchidandOpal.com and today we'll be checking out the Potomac Beads Treasure Edition of their monthly subscription box. And this one also came with a basic beading techniques page which is one of our first editions for that new binder that they had sent us last month that also doubles as a box similar to the one we're used to getting and the one that you see right here. It just had those two rings in it and they did hint that they were going to be including some of these helpful hints, pages, and technique diagrams as time goes on. So they already sent us our first one showing some beading basics, just information on that one side. I'll start adding those to the binder. And then we have our April 2023 subscription box. If you're interested in this one, you can find the link right down below the video in the description section. It'll have all the details and specific information about signing up and the price as well. This one does include the shipping cost if you're located in the U.S. And it also ships worldwide for an additional cost to ship. In addition to this lesser cost monthly box, they also offer their kit edition of the subscription, which comes with two or three full kits of bead supplies and the pattern to go with the contents. That way you can make at least two or three complete pieces from what you receive in that one. And you'll find that information located on their website through that link as well. This box doesn't include any patterns any longer as of their January relaunch of the box. However, they do have tutorial videos that they put out on a regular basis, making sure to include items that you've received in these subscription packages. And I've been coming out with some tutorials on my channel as well. I know the past three months I've had three different designs I came up with using the box contents and then shared those designs and patterns through tutorial videos with those who wanted to utilize their box contents that way. So we'll see if I come up with something new this month. I have no idea what's inside. Looks like they're back to their regular magnetic closure sturdy box that I use a lot for storage. And on top it says that our theme is called Blooming into Spring. So they've said that they've included some vibrant greens, pops of bold color as well. We'll see some stretch cord for making some simple stretch bracelets and a tape measure included. And oftentimes we will see some simple beading tools, stringing material, or other accessories that are helpful and relevant to anyone who likes to make jewelry. I'm always glad to get another tape measure. I feel like I'm always misplacing them, so it doesn't hurt to have another one. On the back of this sheet, we have the listing of everything that we're about to take a look at. And don't forget, you can share your original designs made from the contents on Instagram and Facebook. And that also might be a way to get ideas and check out what other people have made with these contents too. So we have a number of things to take a look at. I'm just going to get organized and we'll try to go down the list and look at everything up close one at a time. Our first bag includes the plated bead caps in the filigree style. These are a small four millimeter size. Looks like there's a number of these included, about a hundred of those in the bag. In that bright silver, so it's 99.9% .9 silver plated. I'm sure you'll still wanna keep these out of the open air as much as possible to retain that brighter color, which is the case with most of those bright, shiny silver plated findings. So here's a closer look at all of those little dainty bead caps. I like getting something in this smaller, thinner size and shape sometimes. They're different from most of the other ones that I'm used to seeing. And it will be good when you just need something really small and light to add just a hint of detail on either side of your beads. Our second item on the list is a bag containing two of the plated button shanks in the 12 millimeter size. These are also in that bright silver and something different as far as findings go. So it'd be kind of nice to have these to play around with. You can use these in all sorts of different ways and mediums that include beads. And I'd imagine you could use them similar to how you would a post earring blank where you could actually create your own custom beaded button and affix that to the back or slip it inside of the back and sew around it to secure the button shank. And then you have a really individual and custom button that you've created. 
which could stand alone or you could use as an alternative to a clasp. Bag three contains these really substantial check glass tile beads in a 16 millimeter size. It looks like an entire strand of these containing 12 pieces. I always like this combination in the check glass. The turquoise travertine, you get a lot of that beautiful bright aqua and the greenish tone coming together and also looking a bit aged too with the travertine finish and how it adds a lot of the different details to the surface, making each bead look slightly different. These are quite thick, as you can see, they are a substantial bead. Even I could see two of these being incorporated into some earrings because they are quite sizable or maybe including one as part of a pendant configuration. They also have a hole that runs through the center of the bead. And one thing I'm noticing is it looks like they have included the names of everything, including the strands. That's probably why we're seeing these strands show up in bags this time around, so that they're able to help us know what the particular color and finish is called of what we received, because that's not listed on the list of contents, I'm sure because colors and finishes could vary slightly from box to box. Up next, we have a strand of the four millimeter faceted fire polish rounds, and the color I received is in Peridot. Sparkly and glossy faceted light green transparent beads, and already I can see these would bring out a lot of those lovely green tones from those tile beads. Can't go wrong getting some check glass fire polish, especially in a four millimeter size how versatile these are used in projects that span different types of beadwork. And we usually see at least one package and variety of a seed bead. This time we have the Miyuki Delicas or the cylindrical shaped seed beads in the 11-0 size. I received the opaque pear color. So these are in a neutral light tan shade these being a great option for using in things like brick stitch or peyote, how those cylindrical shapes really stack and click together perfectly. And most times when we see the seed beads come in these Potomac boxes, they are of the Miyuki brand, which is definitely one of my favorite brands to work with. And these can often be used in place of regular round seed beads, and you can use them in combination with the regular round style to come up with some beaded bezels. And now we have some Potomac's Halo beads. These are the one hole variety in the rose gold tone. And this is something that you can think of as like a bead frame. You can pop a bead inside of this and that metallic just frames it out. And you can also get really creative with these and incorporate them in bead weaving projects. Here they are outside of the bag. You can see how reflective and shiny that rose gold surface is on these metallic frames and the hole that you can see passing through one side of that circular shape and then a hole that goes directly through the other side. So potentially being able just to feed a bead directly in line with those holes. Up next, we have a bag containing the check glass drop beads in a multicolored mix with a matte frosty finish. It looks like there's about 10 grams of those included in the bag. So when we get mixes like this, I often like to separate out the colors because you can use them in different projects, maybe putting some of the colors together, but you don't have to put all of these together. And inside this mix, it looks like we've got some different neutrals, especially the matte clear. There's also some what looks to be a deep reddish brown. We have some opaque jet black, a little bit of pale yellow, light green and blue, and you might see some other colors showing up if you also receive the mix. It's also fun getting a different shape like this to put with some more standard rounds or bicones. These are quite small with a hole drilled at the top and would hang down perhaps at the bottom of some beaded fringe, perhaps at the front of a necklace. You could also cluster these together with wire and chain. 
Our next item is a Czech glass 24 millimeter organic disc. And this one has that multicolored speckled color combination on the surface. This piece is substantial and looks a bit stone-like. I could see this being incorporated in a pendant or a focal component for a piece of jewelry, maybe with some beaded fringe hanging down or a tassel, and even using it in a wire wrapping project that would be pretty with its satiny surface. And a lot of greens, a little bit of yellow, I'm seeing some brown that come together and pull in some of these coordinating beads that we've taken a look at. Our next item is a strand of the six millimeter Czech faceted fire polish rounds. This one looks like it's in dark topaz with a Picasso finish. So these beads are in this combination of speckled neutrals, overall looking mainly golden brown. And I think it would play off nicely with that Czech glass organic disc and also those large tile beads which have some of that golden brown showing up on their surfaces. Our next selection is a strand of the table cut diamonds. This one's in the color chartreuse, and these are a 13 by 20 millimeter size with about 10 pieces on this strand. You can see more of that Picasso or travertine finish that is framing out the sides of those table cut beads with their bright green color on the flat surface of the front and the back, hole running up through the length of these beads. And this being a even brighter shade of green to add to the palette that you can see also has that addition of those areas all around the sides that bring in some of that golden brown and other neutral colors. Our next two selections are the three and four millimeter Potomac brand crystal bicone beads. Looks like I have the dark sapphire, which is similar to a cobalt blue and the crystal clear with no additional finish in the four millimeter size. And here they are out of their bags, very sparkly. And I do like the quality of the Potomac Crystal Bicones. I find that they are closer in quality to a Preciosa if you want a comparison rather than a Chinese Crystal Bicone. Because of the clarity of the glass, also the weight of them, the consistency, and they're smoother around the holes. And then we have a strand of the four millimeter bright white Potomac pearls on an eight inch string. Here's a close look, and I like working with the Potomac pearls too. And you can't go wrong with a classic strand of white pearls to work with. This bright white will lighten up some of those darker neutrals and would also be really classic with those crystal clear bicones. Next is a pair of two of the pewter end cone findings. These are in the long etched variety. You can see those etched details on the surface of that silver color and a pair of these being something really handy, especially if you wanna do a multi-strand necklace, maybe with seed beads, doing a number of those strands together and then gathering them up in a couple of these cones to finish off the ends. And now a little spring-like confetti for us. It looks like a bag of some check glass shapes in this spring color mix with all sorts of different things going on inside. And it looks like we have leaves, we have flowers, we've got a little ladybug in there and some other shapes included, even hearts fire polish and rounds in bright red, yellow, blue, and some other colors in the mix. And also looks like there are multiples of some of these beads, which is good. And a thought that just popped into my head was possibly using these on a multi-strand seed bead necklace with some of these glass beads dispersed in those strands and then gathered up into those cone endings I might try something out like that. We'll just have to see. 
I think that would be a fun way to showcase a bead mix like this with all these little shapes in the Czech glass and all different colors. And I started to sort out the mix, but I wanted to come back just to show you these flowers even once they were sorted out from the other beads. You can get a better idea of what's actually in a mix like that. And I happen to be one of those weird people who likes sorting things. So now we can see this particular type of flower in several different colors. And I think even using some of these shapes that are the same but different colors, pulling those into something could be really cute too. I think those little flowers could also be really fun somehow in a beaded ring, especially if you're able to get the bead itself facing out so you can really appreciate the shape. And there's two final items on the list. We have that stretch string that was mentioned in the paragraph on the other side of our insert. This is a 0 0.03 inch or 0.8 millimeter clear stretch cord, as you can see which is a great option for most bead shapes that we work with that have those approximately one millimeter size holes. And it says there's about five meters on this roll. And then lastly, of course, our handy Potomac beads tape measure that we are sure to reach for at some point. So that wraps it up for the April 2023 Treasure Edition of the Potomac Bead Subscription Box. This is the type of mix that we have come to expect in this one with a mix of several different strands of check glass bead shapes, sometimes of the press variety, sometimes simply faceted fire polish rounds, but we also have the addition of other unique shapes. We typically see the addition of Potomac Crystal Bicones and Pearls, several different metallic components or findings, sometimes stringing materials, and also some sort of a handy beading tool. I really like the fact that they're including these pages to create an ongoing beading techniques binder and also a place for people to include maybe a kit that they're working on from Potomac Beads, maybe one from the other subscription. And the fact that there usually are a lot of projects to go along with what they send. And in most cases, you can find more of these beads because, of course, Potomac Beads is also a huge online jewelry making supply store. So by getting these subscriptions, you're sampling a lot of what they already carry. So if you're wondering if this box is right for you, I hope checking out these contents up close helped you to see what you can come to expect. And I personally think it's one of those options that is helpful for maybe those who are trying to get more experience with bead weaving, or maybe you're trying to cross over from doing primarily stringing projects and want to try some other new and different things. It's a way to sample a lot of different items and find projects to accompany them. Maybe even if it's just a step-by-step -step video tutorial that can help you learn some new things and approach some of these supplies in a different way. But that's just my opinion. Feel free to leave a comment down below because I always love to hear from you. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and do so. I'd love to have you back, especially if I come back with a future finished jewelry update and or a tutorial using some of the contents here. Also feel free to give the video a big thumbs up and share it with your other beading friends. That's all I have for this time. Thank you so much for being here. I hope to see you all again real soon. And until next time, I hope you have a fabulous rest of your day. And as always, happy beading.